It's honestly a family dream to have this kind of home for vacation. Now this looks to be some sort of indoor patio. It goes all around the home. If you want a lot of sunlight, you just come right out here. It's right up here with their own little game room. Got this giant pool table. Probably the most picturesque room here. This place is a sad memory for the family members because they really love this aunt of theirs that became very successful. But there's a secret hidden room dedicated to her as a shrine. It doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, it slides. No way. Yo, what's going on today, Ronan fam, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Roan, and we're going on Epic Adventures, and today we're going to be touring and giving you guys a walkthrough in this amazing, abandoned, Italian log cabin-style mansion. Now, this place was built in the 1980s as a vacation home when the family struck gold. This place has humble beginnings. It started off with a poor family, but there was this aunt that became very successful with her wine business company, and she ended up buying this mansion, and she would take her relatives and family members all here for the holiday seasons. Now, sadly, it ends in a tragic loss when she passed away due to an illness around the early 2000s and left this place completely abandoned. This place is a sad memory for the family members because they really love this aunt of theirs that became very successful. She was the breadwinner of the family, but there's a secret hidden room dedicated to her as a shrine somewhere in this home. I haven't even found it yet, but we're gonna try to look for it. So you wanna stay tuned till the very end of the video. But that's all the history that I know of. This place has been abandoned since the early 2000s. But join me today as we tour around. I'm gonna be taking photos as well. I'm also here with Radic and Abandoned World Explorer. It's right over there, by the way, in the shadows. Yep, so this is part of the European Italian series. So I hope you guys have been keeping up. We've been exploring some amazing places. You can watch the place right up here. But before the adventure begins, I want you all to comment down where you're from below and hit that like button. All right, let's go. Now this place is quite empty. I know you guys are used to seeing these time capsules in Europe, but this is mainly for its beautiful architecture and style. It's like this part of the room was like a restaurant, but this was definitely a home. Back here, you have this giant fireplace. I've never seen anything like it before here in Europe. It's quite unique. You even have a TV still right there. There's some alcohol right on the shelf. Looks like someone drank it all, but there's still a little left. Oh look, we've got some fresh firewood. We can probably light it up. It's super cold, you guys have no idea. There's my camera bag. Down here leads to the basement. I actually saw a cat earlier and it went down here. So maybe we can find it later. Okay, we just made it to the little kitchen area. There's still some ingredients. Spoons and forks and utensils. We have a gas stove. Looks like it's been used a lot. There's some burnt marks on it. Oh, we got some more ingredients here too. Yep, typical Italian ingredients. We got the olive oil. Oh, we got some kikoman sauce. That's nice. Some peppers and salt. But yeah, the kitchen is quite beautiful. I love the island right in the middle here with the nice marble countertop. Here we have the oven. It looks pretty new and modern. Oh no, we got a refrigerator. Let's see if there's anything inside. Maybe we can cook something. Mm, it's just a water bottle. It smells pretty bad and moldy though. Oh, this one won't even budge open. Anyway, you can also walk up these steps. 
Now this looks to be some sort of indoor patio. I think that's what we call it in America. Goes all around the home. Honestly, I like it. If you want a lot of sunlight, you just come right out here. It gives a cozy vibe. And is this a trophy? I think it is. It's for some sport. Anyway, you can just imagine going on vacation here. It must be so nice. And they had a big family. You can just imagine them sitting around here, having a nice drink, eating good food. It's honestly a family dream to have this kind of home for vacation. And you just gotta love the tall windows as well. Looks like we still have some artwork and things framed on the wall here. Looks like a map of the area. But yeah, look at the ceiling here too. Love the beams. Doors over here look so medieval. It's definitely a little bit different from these American lodge homes that I'm used to. Now, you might be thinking this place is not really abandoned, but look at all the dust and rubble on the floor. There's also a lot of footprints from other explorers from the past. So this place is definitely being explored a lot. But I love how preserved it is. These look pretty modern. And pretty cozy. But yeah, you can also get back inside through here. Makes it easy to move around for everyone. I guess right up here was their own little game room or entertainment room. Got this giant pool table made by Longany. Probably the most picturesque room here. And look, we still have some of the alcohol they were drinking. They're probably drinking this while playing pool. Look, we have all the pool sticks hanging on the wall. They really went hard. Okay, I so said we head downstairs to the basement now. Maybe we'll even find the cat that I just saw run down here. What the heck is a tight squeeze? What the heck? The basement kind of looks like a sauna. I guess this is where all the water tanks were and the power outlet. Oh, they had a bedroom down here too. Here kitty kitty. Are you here? Poor kitty, must be so scared. I love cats. This is a pretty nice bedroom down here. I like how it had its own little bathroom with a tub. I would probably take this room. Oh, it's like a tiny little kitchen. You can pretty much make the basement into someone's apartment and rent it out. Got a sink, a stove, and an oven. Oh, here's another bedroom. Oh, this place had so many bedrooms. This one's probably the nicest bedroom here. 
Let me guess, it's probably a bathroom. Uh, yep, right here. Alright, scratch that. I'm taking this bedroom. It's really nice, you got a lot of space. It's weird that there's no sign of the cat anywhere. There must be like a hole somewhere down here where it was able to escape. So I'm walking upstairs, I'm gonna see it's like Cobweb Central. There's uh -huh. a bathroom. Yeah. No kidding. There's a tiny little door and it's got a little bit you open up the top and there's a window that you can look through to someone in there and there's a table in there and it's tiny lock. You can lock it all and Really? What it's like a little prison? <laughs> no, as in I don't know if it's like keeping someone in there. Yeah, yeah, that's like, what I mean. It's gonna be weird, bro. That does sound creepy. Maybe there's a bit of a sinister story to this place. But... Maybe. Could be so. I'll check it out. It's time we head upstairs. Oh, there's so much cobwebs on the ceiling. You can tell no one's been here for years. Guess we'll start here on the left side. Check out the handles. Looks like a dragon. Okay, here's some of the bedrooms. Looks like there's still a little bit of stuff. Just the mattress. And here's the bathroom. It feels pretty small in here. I'm so used to like really tall ceilings. She's had to like duck a little bit. There's too many cobwebs. Here's another bathroom. I mean, it's to be expected if you're inviting so many people. But look at this. What's with these tiny doors? I think that's what Dave was talking about. Are these for like kids? Ugh, you need a key to open it. I wish I can see what's behind it. Let me know down in the comments what you think these doors were for. I think I found out a way to open it. Okay, so we can see through the little window over here. I also found the key. It's hidden on the counter. What the heck? Who would, who would go inside here? Is this like detention for kids? I would probably send my kid up here if he was being a troublemaker. That's so strange. Let's just head back. Ew. is pretty cool. You can see the entire living room from up here. I bet yeah you weren't able to get proper sleep with all the sounds and partying going on. You probably seep through the bedrooms. This looks like the biggest bedroom here. All right, we still haven't found the secret hidden room. But I have a hunch it might be right there. We never checked that door yet. Moment of truth.
door is kind of heavy. Oh. What? Doesn't lead anywhere. It doesn't make any sense. open. Oh, it slides. No way. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is probably the aunt's bedroom. I thought it would be a shrine. I mean, I guess this could also be a shrine for her after she passed away. That seems very special. It has like a perfume smell to it too. That's awesome. I love how the room is just hidden over here. It makes sense to be on the bottom floor. You wouldn't want her to be walking up and down the stairs. its own bathroom. Well, I'm glad we found it, guys. I did not want to miss this. I want to pay my respects to her. She seemed like a very wonderful woman. So what's in here, Dave? You found owls? Which are they? Oh, it's just some co-hangers, bro. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's see these owls. She really wanted to protect them, huh? What oh the God. heck? It's like a whole taxidermy bird collection here. There's owls, there's hawks. That's so cool. There's one laying on the ground right there. It's like it's dead. I reckon these are worth quite a lot of money. Especially the owl and the falcon. So we just made it back outside. There's the pool. I can see it right over there. Ready to swim, Radic? Is there water in there? Maybe. Okay. Could be rainwater. Rainwater is good. Wow, look at this. Such a beautiful driveway. Comes around over here to a little garage. Probably fit your car in there. I guess this leads to some sort of stable or a shed. Probably had horses at one point. But here's the pool. So I guess not only would they come here during the winter, but they would come here during the summer. It's a nice one. It even has a deep end. Oh my gosh, she had her little outdoor pizza oven. Italians don't play with pizza. Got some little shackles here. Imagine if we end up seeing some pizza in the side here. No, it's empty. What a shame. Man, homemade pizza must taste the best, especially if it's cooking something like this outdoors. So we're making it back to the car. We're in some sort of valley with farm fields and berries. Prime location for wild boars. We can actually see some of their tracks right here. We have to be on guard. They're very dangerous animals. If you don't know, see, there's another boar path. Anyway, if I ever see one, I'm running. Yeah, you see the footprints of the boars? Yeah, we saw some earlier here. 
All right, ladies and gents, that's a wrap. I definitely enjoyed this exploration today and I hope you guys did too. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button bell. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of the video was. We'd love to hear all about it. Check out the boys, Radic, Jasper yeah. Films, and we got our band World Explorer, Dave. We still have a few more days to go on this Italy series for the European series. That sounds a little bit weird, but you get the drift. Anyway, we're gonna head back to drop off this car because we've been having issues with it. They did not want to extend it even though I called them days beforehand. But now we gotta drop it off and potentially get another car. I'll keep you guys updated in the next video on that. But until next time guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom wander and I'll see y'all next time. Peace and thanks for watching. Yeah. Bring you back. No Show us the butterfly. Oh. Oh, careful, man. Is that what you're gonna do when you see wild boars trying to attack you? It's not gonna do anything, Radic. Their skin is made of steel. It's not gonna do anything. Its eyes are made of steel, too. It's a, it's a tank. <laughs> While you guys are doing that, I can just run away. It'll give me enough time to make it to the car. It's perfect. <laughs>